Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me once again. My name is Wilkie and uh, yes, you see that right. I am currently playing Black Desert. However, don't be alarmed or don't be fooled. Um, I'm definitely not going to be playing it as a main game for sure. However, due to the fact that it was free, I picked it up on Steam. So this is, I don't want to call it the Steam version, but the version that you launch over Steam. Compared to the one that you play via actual retail launcher. And yeah, I just want to take you with me for a few minutes to see how things go. Uh, I'm not playing on Remastered. I don't like the look of it, to be fairly honest with you. It just, I don't know, it makes it, it makes it look less like a game and more realistic, maybe. If that makes a sense. I don't know. Anyway, um... I have absolutely no clue what the hell Succession is. Apparently it buffs uh, some other skills, or gives you skills during non-awakening. I think that's what it is, maybe? So, yeah, I think that's what it is, that you can use some skills while not being awakened. Uh, anyways, I don't I, I ever get that far. But that's besides the point. Um, what I plan to do... This is really just um, a plan there right now. I don't know if I will execute it, how I'll execute it. Um, what I plan to do is make, I don't want to call it periodic updates, but updates every, I don't know, week or two for the next two to four weeks. So it's probably going to be two videos, maybe four, depending on how much time I do actually invest in the game and how the progress goes. I just really want to see how far you can get with this game playing it casually, like an actual casual. As I said, it's if I play more than 10 hours a week, that's a lot. And we all know that Black Desert is pretty much classified as one of the few games where you don't really get very far by playing casually. So my goal is to give you guys an idea of how far you can reach, how good it is right now. Um, there's a lot of catch-up events currently going, and generally there's a lot of mechanics for people to uh, catch up. But fairly certain nothing changed that ultimately reaching endgame is a matter of grind and spending a lot of time and or money, probably both. So I don't expect to see any results like I'm going to be 61 by the end of, I don't know, 100 hours playtime or something like that. But I'm pretty sure that nobody really expects that. It's really just a matter of giving you guys an idea how this looks. And due to the fact that I do have a lot of knowledge in the game still, I sort of will be able to get reasonably far, I guess, within the amount of time. I'll try not to push it too far. I'm not sure if I will do quests yet, because as a new player, you most likely will do quests. At least I did the when I first played the game, in the create server that is, um, to get some sort of guidance. You don't necessarily have to do that, but uh, I just assume that the new player will do most quests. So I'll probably do like a half mix of grinding and questing in between. And other than that, as I said, I will definitely not play it as a main game. I don't have time for that. As a main game, I will be checking out the new Call of Duty BR, uh, Warzone, what it's called, once the servers will not blow up again and um, the download is pretty heavy too so I expect the servers having some issues here and there and uh, yeah speaking of server issues the game is kind of laggy right now I mean Black Desert is a little bit laggy I'm not sure if it's because of the starting area or that many people are playing it but uh, we'll see about that and that is pretty much all all of the intel I want to give you right now um, I can tell you that much it runs a lot better than it used to performance definitely increased um, I got a new graphics card, so it also obviously plays a role in there, but generally I can say the game runs a lot smoother right now. Um, especially when I compare it to Shadow Arena, which for some reason uses the old poopy engine or something, which runs like ass, so yeah. Anyways, you just see me grinding on my Musa. I'm thinking about playing Striker, Ninja, or Musa. I'm not sure, really. I'm not really playing this with long-term or PvP in mind, so... I do love Musa. We all love Musa, despite not being the most optimal choice in PvP. It, is, it used to be a very... I don't want to call it mediocre choice, um, because Musa definitely has strengths, but in a lot of situations he was, uh, well, not the best choice. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, uh, this is all, so as I said, don't worry, I'm not going to be playing full-time video. I really 
don't know a lot of these things. As I said, succession is a new thing. I don't even have pets. And as another rule I want to give you guys on this video or on the way is... I'm not going to be using the cash up. So this is for someone who will play the game by just buying it or getting it for free doing certain events. And then just, you know, playing it with everything you get. As I said, right now there's an event which gives you a free tier 4 pet if you attend it. Which is really, really generous. So, um, heads up for that. And um, a bunch of other things that you obviously get for free, but don't be fooled. Ultimately, you will most likely have to spend money if you want to reach something in this game. But really, as a starter, this is going to be sort of a directional guide. What can you expect? How far can you get? Um, what you should not expect in the game? And what the progression and time frame and everything looks like for a player that pretty much starts out free doesn't really have an idea what the game has to offer because it's vastly huge and uh, a lot of confusing mechanics are in there so we'll see about that and I will catch you guys next time